Cardiac shockwave is an angioplasty balloon that delivers ultrasonic waves that fracture calcium that is present in 80% of coronary blockages. So what that is in the cardiac space is that you think of the arteries like pipes and you have a buildup of sludge around that pipe, narrowing the lumen of the pipe. Sometimes the sludge is just easy to expand with balloon because it's soft sludge, but sometimes it's really rock hard plaque. So when you try to expand it, the balloons could rupture or your stents couldn't get in, can't get in. Sometimes those patients need bypass surgery or more complex procedures. We usually determine shock waves as appropriate for a patient if we notice that the uh, vessel has heavy calcification, either via ultrasound or the fact that the balloon, the traditional balloon, is not able to expand the vessel. And while that usually means resorting to higher riskier procedures such as atherectomy, this shockwave technology would be delivering a balloon and allowing the shockwave to do its thing of opening and fracturing the calcium around the vessel. Usually um, you're home um, the next day or the same day after the procedure. Uh, so the recovery time is similar to any angioplasty with stenting. Shockwave is a game changer for cardiology because it allows Centennial of Virginia to keep uh, their patients in-house. Uh, the reason is, is that you can address lesions that you couldn't address in a community hospital because at least 50% of our transfers are patients that don't necessarily need bypass. Uh, they just have heavily calcified vessels that need either atherectomy or shockwave. Shockwave provides a safer mode of addressing the lesion without the uh, problems or consequences of having complications from it. <music>